are you? So today I want to talk about the law of karma. Okay. Um, the law of karma uh, is just is very simple to understand. The law of karma states that we create the karma or we build the karma that will in other words when you take an action when you're doing something that is negative and you do things against negative people and you you cause this karma to to build up it's like an energy build up okay you build up this energy and over time this energy will come back to you okay in ten tenfold it will come back to you um there are different people you people like to categorize things with different karmas karma is karma some people say there is uh, life karma debt karma whatever you want to call it there are different there it really is no different kind of karmas it's all the same thing it's energy you're building whether you're building a positive uh, karma or a negative karma okay and you have to pay these things back they will come to you you have you will, they will come back to 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 haunt you so to speak or to bless you so if in your past lives you were were evil or you caused a lot of uh, headaches and uh, and problems and stress and you did a lot of things that were not not very nice that is you're building that light and then let's say you look you do that for you know you cause let's say you use like some crazy mass murderer you kill people for, for, for a long, long time that karma is something that will, can follow you to the next life and usually that's the major karma that you when people say karma or karma 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 debt that is what they're referring to they're talking about like some, uh, you know, from from past life, whatnot, and and then when they're talking about you creating karma, you know, oh, you're creating a crazy karma for yourself. You hear that a lot in, in, in conversations when you're talking to someone who's just being uh, very unple unpleasant to you. Like, oh, yeah, okay, that's all right. Don't worry, you, karma will come back to you, which means that you're creating again that that you're creating you're taking this energy. You're you put it's it's the best way, and I described this in in a. Uh, in my last recording where I talk about that it's like a piggy bank and uh, the universe has this piggy bank where and, and, and so you invest either in the positive vibrational uh, uh, account or the negative vibrational account so that's what karma is and it can be lifetimes or it can be within this lifetime um, and so as you continue to do good deeds and continue to do as uh, uh, positive deeds uh, to help humanity, society, the world, then that is in the positive uh, bank. And so you will receive an abundance in return. And it's the same opposite of negative karma. And that's why sometimes with people, they, they just have like this terrible, no matter what they do, they seem like they have this terrible, everything seems to go wrong, this terrible life. It's because they're paying for this karma that at some point they had to, uh, they, they, they build over maybe lifetimes. Um, some people believe that through certain kind of special meditation or performing certain kind of uh, how can I put this? I'm trying to watch my words because some you know it's it's it's. I want to make sure that I state that state this in a in a neutral way. Some people try to perform certain kind of um, routines or or they think that they can, in other words, they think that they can, if they do certain things, a chance, for example, or, or they, 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 they hire someone that can come along and remove these debts and these comments, the truth of the matter is you can't. That's something that you build up, okay? You build up. What usually happens with that is when someone tries to remove it and you try to remove it in, in, in a certain way, is that instead of you learning from those that, that those experiences, 
because that's how you're gonna get those experiences from past because that past life karma that let's say the past life karma that was negative but now you're living in another lifetime and maybe this lifetime is for you to finally figure out what you did wrong to pay your final karma debt and then to reach to, to reach a high level of enlightenment and then to move on and you never have to worry about dealing with, with anything ever again. Well, if if you don't get those lessons, how can you um, how can you grow? How can you expand? How can you reach that level of awakening that you're looking for? You just can't. And people always trying to cheat. They're always trying to, it's like trying to cheat the system. And we all know what happens with people that try to cheat the system. They always end up in the wrong end of the stick or prison or dead just because they're always trying to do things, you know, incorrectly. Um, and, and that's just not how you, how you go about doing things. It's so interesting that I'm talking about that because that's a great show my fiance got me on to. It's called uh, Revenge. It's, uh, uh, you can find it on Netflix. It's about a family. They basically framed this guy, and his daughter was a kid when she when when that occurred. And she grows up, comes back with tons of money, and little by little, she's she's using, you know, the mindset to to get revenge. I explained to my fiance about this, and I said that you know the problem with that is that when you on that when you on when you taking the knowledge, it's the same knowledge that I'm teaching here, and many other teachers teach. Whenever you take that knowledge and you use it in the wrong aspect, you use it incorrectly. Yeah, a lot of, because it's a law. You may reach success. You may get a lot of things, but you lose little by little. It it infuses within you this negative aspect that starts to eat at you and it can take time it's like a like a cancer it's a really small cancer it's eating away at you so eventually your soul you have no soul and you just you know you because you know you're going to basically be one of those people that you're successful but you don't feel the love you don't feel the joy and all kinds of stuff always happening to you we see that a lot in in today's society with a lot of successful people so it's not a path to, to, to go down. So um, karma debt is definitely not something you're trying to cheat at. Karma, it's better to know what is your the karma debt. There are some people that can tell you, okay, well, this is your karma debt. And then you can even ask the universe, okay, what do I need to do to, uh, to get this situated, right? It's like, okay, what do I need to do to pay my bill? And that's the best mindset. Just pay your debt, pay it off, learn what you need to learn from it, and then you know, you grow internally and you become more awakened spiritually and then that's going to help you to, to awaken if this is your intent. If your intent is for something else, then this channel is not for you and and this, 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 these teachings are not for you because this channel is about teaching the proper way of applying the universal laws in order to attract the life that you choose. Is that to say there's going to be people that are not going to want to listen to this? that are not going to use it for what I'm saying? Of course. Light just doesn't light the light. It also, someone once said that the, the brighter the light, the, 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 the larger the shadow, or the wider the shadow. Because that's usually what happens. You're going to attract also negative, negative people. They're going to want to, you know, we call them emotional vampires. They're going to want to try to absorb your energy. Um, and that's where the karma for them comes into play. But you, so, so, so you got to be smart about it. So karma debt is a pretty short video. It's pretty simple. Um, and the way you apply this information in your practical application is to. It's very simple. It's this way. It's, and because it's karma debt is such a simple uh, uh, thing to understand, it's also a simple thing to apply within the laws and it's this try to do good focus this life on good and helping others when you see someone sick send you can look at them and say i wish them perfect health when you see someone that is trying to cut you off in a car you say i'm grateful i'm grateful and thankful that they get home safe and sound and back home without incidents when you see someone who wishes you harm or doesn't believe in you Wish them blessing and let them go. Don't deal with that negative energy. 
let it go. Despite the fact that sometimes it's easier to curse someone out or wish someone, wish someone harm, always focus on doing the best that you could to be good, to focus on the positive for yourself. Because what you're doing is you're practicing proper, positive um, application of what karma is. And you're putting that the, the good karma, you're building this good karma, and you're putting it into the, the universal piggy bank of positive energy. So you know that the more that you're building this this momentum of positive karma, you're building, the, you're, you're investing into the bank, the positive bank of, of positive karma, know and expect, we talked about that in the law of expectation, that is you're gonna get, you're gonna get equal to or greater than in return of that kindness, of that love, of that unconditional love, of that gratitude. All of that is a high vibration. So when you're practicing the right karma, you're practicing in essence, being in the highest vibrational frequency you could possibly be. And that's learning how to, to form and convert energy, okay, from negative to positive, because you're choosing the positive. And that's, that's, the, that's the difference between someone who doesn't understand this material and someone that, that does. Someone that, that does can, com, com, can convert their thoughts, can convert their feelings, the energy the vibration and then they can focus it like a like a fine laser onto whatever want or desire they have okay so that's all I wanted to say about that law of karma there you go if you have any further questions uh, please subscribe to my channel uh, write some comments I'll be more than happy to answer them or if you have a request for for another uh, video on this subject please let me know as always, love and peace with you always, Israel.